In early April 2011, unusually warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico is moving north, while cold fronts head southeast from the Midwest and Plain states. The two collide and are churned further by howling winds in the jet stream. It's a turbulent breeding ground for supercells, some of the most dangerous storms on Earth. Supercells are long-lived, and statistically, they're the type of storms that produce not just tornadoes, but typically the, the bigger tornadoes, the more violent tornadoes. A supercell forms when conflicting winds cause horizontal spin in the lower atmosphere. Warm updrafts then force it vertically to form a mesocyclone, the spinning heart of a supercell. It draws in more warm air, driving the rotation faster. Rapidly descending air at the rear of the storm can then drag the mesocyclone towards the ground. If it touches down, a tornado is born. We didn't know where tornadoes would touch down, how many tornadoes we we're going to have, exactly what state maybe would take the brunt of this, but somebody in the Deep South was going to have a really bad day. In the early hours of Wednesday, the 27th of April, the predicted storm system hits James Spann's home state of Alabama. It was just a sense of urgency and a sense of, I hope we're not in over our heads. These storms are very serious. So let's kind of reset here. It's, it's 540. A lot of you are just waking up now to the sirens going off. During the morning hours, seven states are hit by a massive storm system. 92 tornadoes touch down, stretching from Louisiana all the way north to Ohio. By 9 a.m., the weather system across Mississippi and Alabama completely transforms. Looks like we might see several hours of sunshine this morning, and that in turn could lead to some really rough weather later today. This is the time where you go to a safe place now, as low as you can go. So again, a... Ignoring the warnings, storm chaser Reed Timmer decides to head in the direction of one of the supercell storms near the town of Philadelphia, Mississippi. You guys, this is probably one of the strongest tornadoes we've ever seen. And a massive twister has just touched down. Oh my God, to the left side! To the left side! It was approaching rapidly, and we saw the massive wedge. We knew it was powerful at that point, and you knew that we were dealing with a different monster. As it races along the ground, the nearly one kilometer wide tornado suddenly becomes even more deadly. As it mutates into a multiple vortex tornado made up of smaller vortices. Go, 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 go. Philadelphia's multiple vortex tornado with rotational winds of up to 330 kilometers per hour is given the most powerful rating on the enhanced Fujita scale, EF5. Oh my God. By 2 p.m., the sky is full of potentially deadly supercells raging across Dixie Alley and beyond. There are multiple storms. All of these are life-threatening. It was gonna be one of those days where if people didn't take cover, they were going to die. With lives at stake, Matt Lauban is in just his third week of a new job as a meteorologist at WTVA in Tupelo, Mississippi. To be a new person forecasting here, I doubted what I was looking at. You know, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, I mean, this is, this is as extreme as it can get. This could be a tornado developing. This has not been reported as a tornado on the ground. Almost every storm on the radar looked like it could be producing a tornado. It was the most overwhelmed I have ever felt. On radar, 
many of the supercell storms are showing the ominous hallmark of a potentially developing tornado, a hook echo. A hook echo is caused by precipitation and rapidly descending cold air at the rear of the storm as it wraps around the supercell's mesocyclone. It's this descending air that can drag a mesocyclone to the ground. This deadly weather system is set to break almost all known records. It wasn't that we were going to produce one, that we would produce multiple long track tornadoes that aren't just down for a minute and done, but down for half an hour, an hour. Within minutes of the massive Philadelphia tornado, another supercell is showing the hook echo as it fast approaches the town of Coleman, Alabama. Are you kidding me? And, 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 you know, I cannot believe we can see that that far wow. away. It's down. The tornado has formed. 